Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nessa and I am an indie author and I publish under the pen name A and Sage. If you are new to this channel, then you should know that I publish a lot of videos on writing, the craft of writing, tips, advice, things like that, some behind the scenes. But I also am a cover designer and a creative of many sorts. And so there are other venues and streams here, video streams that I work with that are more geared towards different types of creative genres. So if you are also a creative, then welcome to the channel as well. If you are a returning subscriber and a returning member of this community, then hi again. I am so excited to have you back. And if you are in fact new, then I would really love it if you would consider subscribing and joining us here on this channel where I try to post videos weekly when it comes to the craft of writing and all other creative streams. So in today's video, speaking of the art of creativity, um, writing, the one thing that I also really love is planning. Um, if you haven't seen any of my planning videos, um, I will try to link one of the most recent ones somewhere in the cards or in the description. But I am a huge planner junkie. I absolutely love planning. I try to publish some sort of planning video at least once a month. Um, and it usually has to do with physical planners, planners that I use. Now, if um, you have seen some of the videos already, then you should know that I'm currently on mat leave. I am just starting to come back from mat leave. Um, so I have a very small baby at home that I also have to take care of. And physical planning for the first little while right now um, is a little bit more strenuous. So I have got down how much I do in my physical planners. However, what I have started doing is doing more digital planning because I find that usually I am not at my desk, not at my computer. I'm kind of running around the house, but I always have either my phone with me, my tablet with me um, or a laptop, right? And so digital planning has become something that I have just started to get into, but I really, really love. In fact, I loved it enough that I decided to design my own planners, which is where the creativity part comes in. So I have decided that I do want to design my own planners just because I was really into digital planning and really into good notes and things like that. Um, so I opened an Etsy shop <laughs> because apparently I did not have enough projects on the go, but I did open an Etsy shop where I am planning to sell more digital planning tools, materials, productivity, things, templates, sheets. Um, but the main things that's in there right now, and I have two designs loaded already, I will have more um, regularly uploaded, but they, I do have digital fully hyperlinked, um, full year undated digital planners already on there in two different designs. Um, I'm just going to put um, two of them just on here so you can kind of see like the front design of the planner and kind of like the theme that's in there. Um, and I will show you a little bit more of both of them and what they look like shortly. Um, but I figured that if you are new to digital planning, just like I kind of was before I decided to design my own and start a whole shop to sell them, um, that you might want to check it out. Um, so I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of one of these planners so you can kind of see how digital planning works, how hyperlinking works, and to see if it might be something that might work for you if you might want to do some planning on the go. So with that said, I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm actually going to screen record my screen. I'm not going to record anything on my iPad or my phone because it's a little bit small. Um, so I'm going to be recording just this quick walkthrough on my actual big iMac just because it gives me a little bit more space with the recording and to show you guys kind of what everything looks like. So let's take a look at these planners and then we can get right back here and kind of chat a little bit more. So this is one of the digital planners that I have in my shop. Um, this is the GoodNotes app. So you can see here, I have it open on my iMac and it's not obviously as useful as having it on your iPad or on your phone, but it's just easier to show you this way. Normally I'd be using this on either my phone or my iPad, uh, but this is the front of the planner. So when you get it, um, what you will actually get is, let me just show you the sidebar here. You will get a PDF and it will have all of the pages for this planner. My particular planners come with 685 pages. They're all hyperlinked and I will show you what that means in a second. But when you first 
upload it into your GoodNotes. All you do is add a file, and then you open it up and it'll open like this on the front page. And as you scroll, you will have your front um, kind of cover here. And all of these tabs are hyperlinked. So if I clicked on yearly, it will take me to my yearly tab. You got a dashboard on here, just like a regular planner would. And then you click through and then you have your yearly overview. Now to go to these months, as you can see, when I hover over them, there's a little hand here, which means that it's hyperlinked. Um, so it will take you to that monthly tab right here, which is January um, or Let's say we want to go to September. So it will take you to the September monthly tab. This is the monthly tab. Alternatively, you can click on the monthly tab here. It will have a dashboard and then it goes through every single month one by one. This is what the monthly tab looks like. Now on the monthly tab, um, the hyperlinks are on this weekly section. So if we want to go to March, week one of March, let's say we want to go to week two of March, for example, we could just click right here with your pen or your finger or whatever. Um, and it will take you to the weekly layout of March. And then again, alternatively, you've got your weekly tab here with the dashboard and it takes you through every single week throughout the month. This is all undated. So you add the dates yourself. I will show you how in a second. Um, but the next hyperlink you get here um, is let's say you want to go to January week three, the Thursday, you would click on the Thursday up here and it will take you to the daily page of that particular week. Or again, you've got the daily pages here um, with the daily dashboard. That's all like nice and themed to that particular planner. Um, and then this is what the dailies look like. Um, so just to show you the yearly again, very quickly, and then we'll get into these other sections here that are all color coded. Um, your yearly overview is great to use. Um, I use it for goals. Um, I use it for future planning, things like that. Um, the monthlies, this is what they look like. So again, um, I plan out kind of on the go right now. Um, so I have like appointments. I have um, when I start getting back to work with client things are due uh, because I'm slowly rolling work out. I've got to do lists here for work and for personal, which I find is very, very useful um, because you can separate the two out, especially if you're a creative person. So I think this monthly layout works really well for me. Um, and then on the weekly side of things, you again have a work and a personal to do list, but for your week. So not just for your month. Um, I tend to have monthly to do lists and weekly to do lists. So it's nice to have it all in one spot like this. Um, and then your regular weekly schedule up here. And the daily will have a um, hourly from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, we've got your priorities, your top three, which I, I know if you've seen me plan, you know I'm a big fan of top threes, um, a daily to-do list, and then a section for your gratitude. Um, now in the habits bar over here, so another dashboard, and I love how the florals look on these. Um, that was really fun, but like using that, that was a really nice design. Um, so the habits section, um, it works like this. The hyperlinks on this are the January, which will take you back to that month. Um, and then also the week so you can go back to that week that that habit is for so you can go back and forth between the two which is really really nice um, but your habits you would do your habits right over here so the same way as you would in a physical planner and then you could check them off and again i'll show you in a second how you would do that um, then you have an end of week review on your habits that you can talk about what's working what's not working and how can you do better next week which has been really nice to just kind of journal in a little little bit on the go here. Um, under the health section, um, we have um, just like a big overview. Um, I really like this for meal planning. Um, I use it. I have, I'm not exercising right now. Clearly, I'm still recovering from um, giving birth, <laughs> but I'm not exercising right now. But I do use it to meal plan for us on the go real quick. And this way, if I have my tablet, I can just leave it downstairs and my husband can take a look at it as well. Um, I also track all the vitamins that I have. And then I kind of make notes on the water um, intake that I have because I am trying to 
drink a lot more water right now, especially all things considering. Um, then the hyperlinks are the same as in the habits where you have your January it takes you back to the monthly of the January and then your week will take you back to the week that this health tracker um, is for. Um, and then you would just kind of have all these health trackers. You can also scroll like this through any of the pages. Like you can scroll through the 685 pages um, and it'll just take you right through all the weeks. Um, in the money section, um, what you have um, is your monthly budget. If you click on the January here, it will take you back to the month. Um, and then you would have your income where it's from. So if you have any other passive incomes or different income sources, great for writers and creatives here. Um, then you can um, change it to expected and what your actual was. Um, you can track your expenses and there's like a lot of expense tracking in here. Um, and then your overall budget. Um, then the other thing that you get is also a revenue tracker. Um, so just to track like what revenue you got like source by source if you have more um, this is more like an overall income for the month and then this is like a an actual breakdown of that so i find for me this works really well if you have multiple books um, then you can track your revenue from each one of those books um, and then your expense tracker, um, which again, over here, um, these are all your fixed expenses. So that's like subscriptions and bills and things like that, that you have coming out. Um, and then over here is just general daily expenses. And I find this works really well for me because I use this part and this part for my business side of things. And then I use these um, expense trackers just for my personal expenses. So I know what's going on there. Um, and you have these for every single month of the year, three of these pages. Then in the goal section, um, we have um, this page right here. It's um, a few of these pages and you can copy and paste these pages as many as you need um, and kind of move them around and put them in your monthly if you need to. Um, but so what I've done is I have a goals planner. So again, I have a goals planner that is a physical planner. And what I do right now is I take stuff from that physical planner where I've already planned it out ahead of time and I transfer them all in here. Um, this is a blank one. So my real one obviously has some like things that I can't show you because it's more personal, but what I would do is just write your main goal, whatever that top goal is. So if you want to see some more of my goal planning, I will link a goal planning video for you so you can see exactly how I plan my goals every quarter. But your, my main goal would go here. Um, I kind of kind of write about it, like why it's important to me. Then I have my big steps to achieve that goal and then some of the little steps to achieve this big step. So this is all very much the same way that I plan my goals every quarter kind of transferred into a digital setting um, and then at the end of it all we have note sections um, so we just have these types of notes there's a few pages of these just line notes um, and then i also have this grid note and i find for me this is great because i plot up my books here on the go um, i would can do character plotting i can do actual scene plotting on this um, and it's nice to kind of have this in a digital form so that as i'm sitting somewhere we're watching a movie or i'm playing with the baby or something um, i can actually like just pull this out on my phone um, and do a bit of plotting on this note section here and this is just great just this general note section and then lastly there's a list section which is a very um, regular list section where you can check things off um, so how do you use this so let's say that we're going to go into a um, let's do a daily view because it's probably just a bit more fun there's more details here um, so the way that you would use it in good notes in general is there's this if you look at the top right corner there's this little emblem here when you click on it it becomes editable so now these hyperlinks you can no longer click on them if you click on it again you can now go back and you can click on the hyperlinks again so your hyperlinks they will not work um, when you are in edit mode because right now you are here to write so you can use a pen tool and i'm on my mouse right now but so it'll be like weird for me to write but i'll just draw something on here but you can change what kind of pen you have here you can do a brush pen you can do a bowl tip pen you can do a fountain pen and actually change the sharpness of it which is so cool so you can actually go ahead and draw something here or write something so if you have a pen when you're on the tablet obviously you will actually use this pen tool to write in these sections um, then if you don't like what you wrote you can go ahead and you can erase it um, let's say you were writing something here i'm not writing because obviously using a mouse right now um, you can actually 
highlight what you just wrote as well. Um, so it works very much like a regular planner. You can change your highlight color, do a different highlight on there, um, change the size of the highlighter. So it works really, really well. Um, you can do shapes. Um, you can actually add like a lasso tool where you select things add an actual image which is great for if you want to add like your book cover and then start plotting here um, and then you can do like a text type tool which is very straightforward um, just a regular like typing tool and then you can go ahead and change the size of it so as you're typing let's say you want to write bigger um, everything's here it's pretty straightforward um, now let's delete this again let me get rid of all of this stuff. We can just keep um, the the type stuff here for now. Um, let's say I want to select something. It will just select this section here, and then you can like move it around and stuff. But I mean irrelevant right now. Um, but if you want to add stickers, so these planners that I sell, they all come with 150 stickers that match the planners that are here. So if you want to add stickers, you would go on this elements tab here. Um, and let's say I want to put a washi strip like down here, for example, and I have a few of the watercolor florals loaded. So let's say I want to put this washi strip right there. I will literally just click on it and I can make it bigger and I can move it around and then I can come in here and use my pen tool and I can write on top of it um, and go ahead and highlight it as well like so there's like a lot you can do um, it's a lot easier to do when you have a pen not a mouse like I do here uh, but for the most part like let's say I want to come in here and at 11 I want to add this flag all I do is click it so you can move it around anywhere you want I'll add it right here and then I'll come in here and I'll make a note that whatever it's whatever time there's something happening here. So it's very simple to use it. Um, it takes a bit of playing around. I actually enjoyed learning how to use it and playing around with it. But when I'm done with this, all I would do is just go back to this top right corner again, click it. And now I can go back to my yearly and do my planning in here or go back to my monthly and take a look in here, um, go back to this week here and do my weekly planning. So it's all very, very, very simple. Um, and you have um, a few options. So you can keep loading. As you can see, this is where you would load things. So you go to new and load your new PDF of whatever digital planner you purchased. So I have this watercolor right now. This is the other one that I have. Um, so this is the minimal abstract one. Um, let's go back to the front so you can kind of see it. This is what the front cover of this one looks like. We've got the belongs to and you'd fill in your name here. And again, all of these are the same tabs, but it's a very different design. It's like a bit more minimal. Um, I really like this one a lot. Actually, it's very neutral. I was using this one before and I just switched to the floral one because um, I have just recently designed it. So that's essentially what um, the digital planner looks like and how you can use it um, in your good notes. Um, and I hope that you kind of enjoyed this little walkthrough and maybe made you consider starting digital planning. I have been really, really enjoying it. So I hope you have too. Um, so I will see you in a second. I'm just going to turn this off and then we'll do like a quick chat about um, all of this again. So that was essentially digital planning or the planners that I currently have um, and just basically how I use them. Um, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I am on the go quite a lot. And so I find that having something just on my phone or on a tablet or something that's portable, where it's not just like a physical planner that I have to carry around is just more useful for me in this particular time in my life, because I more often than not have a baby <laughs> in one hand, if not in both. And so having um, only one hand free makes it a little bit more difficult to do physical planning. That's not to say that I don't still plan in my actual planners. I do still love them. I try to make time once a week to kind of sit down and really do like a fun little plan with me. Um, just like a time for me really. So I play with stickers and plan stuff out. But when it comes to the everyday planning of things, um, I find that these planners that I've just showed you, um, they work a little bit better for me. Right now I'm using the floral design. I was in the abstract and the minimal abstract design before, but the beauty of these is you can always switch them around. Um, and it's literally like whatever strikes your fancy, you don't have to redo an entire planning system if you want to try a new one. So I've really been liking that part of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
this little planner video, um, a little bit different for a planner video today um, because it is a different planning system, at least for me. But I, as I try things, I try to get you guys involved to show you what it is that I'm trying to see if you might like it. So I figured why not, you know, share this too so we can all try digital planning together. <laughs> um, so anyways, thanks for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think about the whole process of a digital planner if you would consider it or if you have tried it before and it just was for you wasn't for you i'd love to know how you felt about it um how everybody feels about it because everyone has different planning um like kind of ways and so i'd love to get to know what you guys do for your everyday planning to kind of keep up with your writing or your other creative endeavors or just your everyday life so i hope you guys had a good time watching this and i will see you next week stay magical and have have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.